Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Kyle. Welcome back to another episode of Passive Online Cash. Let's just dive right into the meat here. I'm a big fan of tech stocks, mainly because I work in the tech industry, I understand it, and therefore I tend to be able to predict super cycles in the major companies and which players are going in the right direction and which players are going in the wrong direction. I don't have a crystal ball, but going with my gut and investing like I have, it's paid off pretty well. So today I have invested $25,000 into one tech stock, which is about to drop earnings, as are many of them, but I put $25,000 into Apple. The reason I bought $25,000 worth of Apple shares, in addition to my portfolio of VTI and all those others that already own 5% of Apple, is because Apple is in the middle of a super cycle. I have been an Apple fan, and I used to be Windows before that, since, I don't know, 2004 or something like that, and this is one of Apple's super cycles, meaning these new MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, iPhone 12s, uh, AirPod Pros, everything that they are releasing right now is a next generation step in terms of technology, computational power, 5G speeds. I think everybody is going to adopt these things because it's such a quantum leap forward in terms of technology compared to their micro releases in years previously. So I think they're gonna blow out their earnings release when they announce them here in the next 24 hours. So. That is why I put $25,000 into Apple. What's my prediction? Again, this is just my opinion. I think when Apple releases their earnings and if they do in fact beat their uh, street estimates, I think the stock is going to move between 2% and 5% to the upside almost right away. There will be some people that end up selling at those prices, but I think that's the long-term momentum that the entire stock market honestly needs to continue to sustain this rally. If the tech stocks under deliver, it could mean doom for a lot of different things, right? Airline industries and all these other companies that are reliant on the COVID uh, virus more or less going away so that the world can go back to what it used to be. Uh, it, the, all the investors that have been investing in those types of industries or companies have moved into tech realizing that tech was gonna carry them through this downturn. Now, if tech starts to falter and we have this Delta variant coming out, it could mean a lot of negativity in the market in terms of sediment and people could pull their money out. So not only is this earnings play big personally for what I believe in tech going forward, but it's also a big momentum shift for the entire market in my opinion. If Google, Amazon, and Apple do not deliver uh, quarterly earnings that beat estimates, I think we are going to see a little bit of a shift or a correction in the marketplace, probably to the one or 2% side where people start changing out their money and their acquisitions and their risk tolerances. So what does this mean for you? I am not telling you to go buy Apple. Again, this is informational on what I do with my money. I'm simply laying out what I think, in my opinion, is going to be the next key step for the stock market. And also, how I'm investing $25,000 of my own money to make some money right now. So again, I think this is going up. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think Apple is going to beat estimates. And I think Apple is going to climb from a buck 49 or $149 I can see it settling around 160 or 165 by Thursday or Friday afternoon. So without further ado, guys, thanks for tuning in. This is a quick little video on how I invested $25,000 today. And if you want more videos like this, let me know. Hit the subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, leave me comments below. Let's talk, let's engage, let's figure out how we can all make a bunch of money together. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Take care.